morning and a very warm welcome to our service of morning prayer. Of course, there's really only one story in the news this week and it's on all of our hearts, Ukraine. I'd like to start by just giving you information about our urgent appeal for items for the people of Ukraine that they very much need. Um, we, with um, our school, um, Tanworth in Arden uh, Junior and Infant School, are collecting items to go to um, the, the appeal in Ukraine. Um, basically, we're collecting food, um, non-perishable items, tinned, preferably with ring pulls, um, especially meat, fish, soup, dried fruit, also sweets and, and drinks. Um, blankets, pillows, sleeping bags, duvets, torches, batteries, power banks. Uh, for babies, baby formula, nappies, bottles, wipes. Calpol, Nurofen, obviously all unopened. Um, clothing for all ages, especially new underwear, new socks, warm clothing, hats, um, and warm outer clothing, and sh sh especially Wellingtons. Um, personal hygiene items, wet wipes, sanitary towels, face masks, disposable razors, all toiletries, sponges, flannels, deodorants, um, and first aid items, bandages, plasters, pads, um, antiseptic cream. All of these items, if you have any that you'd like to donate, if you could pop them into a strong cardboard box or a strong bag and label what, what's in your, your bag or your box. Um, you can download a label from our website or from our Facebook page, or if, you could, if you're not able to do that, just write it on a piece of paper and attach it to your box. Um, we'll make sure that all of these items get to Atwell Farm, who are actually managing the logistics of getting all these items to containers ready for, ship to, for transportation to Ukraine. Our only other notice this morning really is to let you know that we will have an online service next week and we will also have a service at 10.30 in our school. So this is the first Sunday of Lent and Lent is a time of repentance, sacrifice and prayer. The Archbishop of York last week said that in response to the Ukrainian crisis, we should all be prepared to make sacrifices, offer generous humanitarian aid, a welcome to the U Ukrainian refugees, and we should devote time and energy more than ever to, to prayer. All the disciplines of Lent and none needed more than now. So let's open our service with prayer and please join in everything involved. We come to praise the Father for his goodness, to thank Jesus for his open hands of love and to seek the Holy Spirit's blessing. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for calling us to come and worship. We pray that you may draw near to us all this morning, wherever we may be, that you may open our hearts and minds to hear and receive your word, and that you may refresh us again by the power of your spirit to become more like the people 
you call us to be. Amen. And we come to our confession. God of all creation, forgive us when we lose perspective, when we see the world through our eyes and not yours. Forgive us and sharpen our vision. Forgive us when we look away from you, when we feel empty, when the problems of our lives and of our world overwhelm us. Forgive us and strengthen our faith. Forgive us when the choices we make are self-centred, when we lose our way, when we're indifferent to the needs of the wider community. Forgive us and lead us back onto your path. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God of all, you transfigure our smallness with your greatness. You unlock our limitations with your grace. You calm our confusion with your faithfulness. You forgive our mistakes with your generosity. You inspire our dreams with your love, enabling, empowering and encouraging us to serve you and your whole creation with all we have and all we are. In Jesus' name, Amen. And our, our collect prayer for the first Sunday of Lent. Heavenly Father, your Son battled with the powers of darkness and grew closer to you in the desert. Help us to use these days to grow in wisdom and prayer that we may witness to your saving love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now Joel will read us our Bible reading. The reading is taken from Luke chapter 4 verses 1 to 13. Jesus is tested in the wilderness. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone. The devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered, it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. The devil led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished all this tempting, he left him until an opportune time. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Joel. Well, here we go again, a world in turmoil. Just as we're getting our lives back into some sort of normality following all the COVID problems, here we have a terrible atrocity, the war in Ukraine. What is going on? 
where's God in all of this? How can God tolerate such evil? Our reading this morning, while not dealing with these questions directly, does tell us that Jesus understands suffering in the most human of ways. He is alone facing trials and difficulties in a desolate place. He's heading, of course, in the direction of Jerusalem, where he will meet with intense persecution and eventually a torturous death. When tempted by the devil to abandon God in his hardships, Jesus does not give in. He looks up, away from the earth and what the devil has to offer. He looks up to the bigger picture. When the devil tempts him with earthly powers and glory, he does not seize it. Instead, he looks up to God again, to the bigger picture. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Finally, when the devil asks him to test God's promise to save himself by throwing himself off the temple, he will not, he won't put God's promise to the test. Paul reminds us that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. He tells us that in Romans chapter 10. God will save. God will, one day, right all wrongs. Wipe away the tears from children's eyes. Bring love and joy back to where it's been extinguished from. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, reminded us last week not to give in to fear provoked by uncertainty. He said, the only certainty is that we know that God does not change. Let us find our resolution, our peace, our certainty, not by screwing up our courage, but in the knowledge of the eternal arms that hold us. In the meantime, in this season of Lent, we have to be prepared more than ever to make our own sacrifices. We have to be ready and willing to pay the price that sanctions against Russia will cost us. As a nation, we have to ask ourselves what we've contributed to the present situation by turning a blind eye to the source of money and investments in our businesses and in our industry. Are we prepared as individuals and as a nation for the long haul to stand up for our wronged brothers and sisters in Ukraine and anywhere else in the world where there's conflict and unjustness? In Romans again, Paul writes, there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. And in the crisis in Ukraine, Jewish and Christian faith leaders have come together to pray Psalm 31, in which David, so long ago, calls out to God for refuge and declares that he has been shown God's love. We'll join them now in that prayer. Скоро мене порятують, стань для мене могутньою скелою, 
Дом твердині, щоб спасти мене. Я зненавидів всіх, хто шанує повбаних гарних. Я ж не боюсь на Господа. Я буду радіти та тішитись в Твоїй милості, щоб побачив Ти горе моє, щоб приглянувся Ти до скорботи моєї душі. І мене не віддав в руку ворога. На місці розлоги поставив Ти ноги мої. Помилив мене, Господи, бо тісно мені. Від горя вже виснажилось у моє огнеє. Душа моя і нутро моє. Бо скінчилось життя моє в смутку, а роки мої у квилінні. Моя сила спіткнулася через мій гріх, і виснажились мої кості. Я в усіх ворогів своїх став посміховищем, надто сусідом своїм. І страхіттям знайомим моїм, хто бачить на дворі мене, утікають від мене. Я забутий у серці, немов той небіжник, став я немов та розбита посудина. Бо чую багато шептання, страхання навколо, як змовляються разом на мене. Вони замишляють забрати мою душу. А я покладаю надію на тебе, о Господи, я кажу, ти мій Бог. В твою руку кладу свою долю. Ти ж визволь мене від руки ворогів моїх і моїх переслідників. Засяй світлом свого обличчя на твого раба. Спаси мене у своєму милосерді. Господи, не дай мені осоромитись, адже я кличу до тебе. Нехай осоромляться нечестиві і змовкнуть у шоолі. Нехай заніміють обманливі уста, які зухвали зі зневагою, наговорюють на праведника. Яка ж велика твоя доброта, яку ти приготував для тих, що тебе шанують та на тебе покладаються і виявляєш її перед усіма людськими нащадками. Ти її у заслоні обличчя свого заховаєш від людських тенет. Ти їх від лихих язиків у наметі сховаєш. And now we join our own prayers with those of the International Children's Charity World Vision for the people of Ukraine. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. Lord, we ask for peace for those who need peace. Reconciliation for those who need reconciliation and comfort for all who don't know what tomorrow will bring. Lord, may your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord God, we ask for you to be with all, especially children who are suffering in the crisis as Ukraine deteriorates. Lord, for those who are anxious and fearful, for those who are bereaved, injured, or have lost their lives, and for those who have lost loved ones, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we ask that decision makers hear your voice, parents protecting their families, deciding whether to stay or leave, church leaders as they support and comfort people. And Lord, we ask for wise sanctions, wise actions from global leaders who have the power not only to start wars, but to stop them too. And Father God, we cry out for an end to this crisis, for mercy, peace and truth, because you are light, hope, power and love. Amen. As we enter the long weeks of Lent and reflect on the sadness of its story, when we look into our own hearts and struggle to live by the responsibilities of our calling, God of life, lead us through the wilderness. When we feel lost and alone, when trouble comes to our door and we do not know how to face the future,
God of life, lead us through the wilderness. When church needs to change, when the way ahead seems threatening and unknown, and the usual uncertainties are gone, God of life, lead us through the wilderness. When we take more than we should, when we do not treat the earth with kindness, and our habits and choices create a, a wasteland, God of life, lead us through the wilderness. When we find it hard to follow you, when easier paths beckon and our strength fails, God of life, lead us through the wilderness. When we look ahead and all is dark, send us light. When our hearts are dry, our pathway full of ash and dust, send us water to renew our souls, God of life lead us through the wilderness feed us with the bread and wine that is your body and the love of our companions in the, on the way may we know your spirit's comfort and trust that your love is enough in the darkness that surrounds us and the pain that is to come until we see you face to face god of life lead us through the wilderness and now we join all these prayers together by saying together our lord's prayer our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And for our sending out prayer, Lord Jesus, may we see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. And now for our blessing. May the love of the Lord God draw us to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus strengthen us in his service and the joy of the Lord Jesus fill our hearts and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us always. Amen. Mm -hmm.